So, hi, my name's Flora. Hi, my name's Amanda. So, my name is Carmen. Hi, I'm Lucy. My name is Leah. Um, so, my name is Sophia. I think diversity and inclusion is important because it ensures the environment that you work in is comfortable. And when you're comfortable working, it really shines through your work as well. And at the end of the day, we're all here to look after the patient and the happier we are, the better the work we produce. So speaking from my point of view, what I would have liked when I was maybe a child was to have more female role models. All the people in the science that I was close by was was always male, so I would have liked to have that. Growing up, even for me, it was like, um, I didn't really know who to turn to. So I think it's um, one thing is like finding role models, you know, that you can aspire to be like, you know, ask questions that you're not sure about. Um, so I personally think that it's just really important because it makes you feel more comfortable. Um, I think everybody with their specific differences and um, their, their diversity, um, enrich a workplace and so I think it's really important to make them feel accepted um, just to create a comfortable and safe working environment for everybody. I think uh, one thing that might help is literally asking questions when you're not sure. Um, I think most people that I've worked with are really happy to answer questions that you know I might not be um, I might not know the answers to and basically being open to learning about you know different people different cultures you know someone that thinks a bit differently to you I think it's good to kind of look at things from different perspectives, so yeah. I think what women need is to have strong leadership in place as well as mentoring programs to help women reach their potential and um, help drive them to go for those science positions and help go, them go for those higher up roles within the science industry. I think making sure you know, you've got people around you who, who who you can relate to. I think that's quite a big challenge. I think the other one is um, having women at the top at UKHSA. That Jenny Harris runs UKHSA. She's the head of it. I think it's quite an inspiring thing. But it's just yeah, making sure that you're seeing these promotions. My parents both work in the medical field. My mum is a nurse and I've always been inspired by the work that she does even through the ups and downs of her career. She's always been very passionate about her job and I think that got passed down to me in a way. The difference I think within the private and, and government is definitely something that is, is a stark contrast. I would say uh, when I came here I was, I was um, quite taken aback by how, um, how welcoming everybody is. Um, I think in general as the people that work here they're very um inclusive they're very um aware that you know everybody has their own specific uh needs they have their own personal lives that also relate to how they work i feel inspired by my colleagues i feel very supportive and i really like what i'm doing and how i can I can continuously progress within my job and within my team. My advice would be to use the support that is available to you and to reach out to people, um, maybe working in the job that you could really see yourself in and that you really want to work towards and ask them for advice and ask them how they got there. No one should feel like they can't do something they're passionate about. Um, everyone should um, feel like there's an equal opportunity to do things that yeah, that they care about. I think it's just about making sure um, you have a broad range of people, um, different backgrounds, um, so that when you enter into a team, you feel welcome and included.